What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Boost to the Top. Today we're going to be using a team from Poketana, an active member of the Discord and fan of the channel. If you guys want to actually submit teams for me to possibly use in a Boost to the Top video, you can do that in the link in the description through the Discord. And if you guys want an extra video every week, you guys can support me on Patreon. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to upload this week, but I'm definitely going to upload a couple of things. It's just $1 a month. But yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, uh, go ahead, leave a like in the video and comment. We, we have to outplay the algorithm, as Envy says. Comment uh, what you think is probably your favorite series of VGC 2020, because we've had a lot of formats this year. Uh, and personally, I'm a big fan of Series 5. I think it was fine. A lot of people were like, ah, Rillaboom. I don't like Rillaboom. And I'm like, mm, I, I think it's fine. Anyways, yeah, the uh, team is going to be, or the, the code for the team is going to be in the description down below. So please don't comment asking for that, or do comment asking for it. I just won't reply, but I'll gladly accept the comment as a uh, as a way to boost the channel uh, in terms of interactions. Also, today's the first day of double uploads. What I'm going to be trying to do is uh, upload a boost the top video and then a showdown live. Uh, and that's for like, one of them is series six, which is today's video. Uh, and then the showdown live will be series five. And it's likely just going to be another video of me practicing for uh, Players Cup. Okay, so what do we have here? It looks like we are facing actually a pretty interesting team. You don't really see Gothitelle too often without Durant in this format, uh, or even just Parish Song. So it looks like Goth Zolt is what they're going for, Goth Zolt. Ooh, actually Goth Grimmsnarl sounds really scary. I don't really want to have to mess with that. Um, Gigalith doesn't look awful if I play my cards right here, especially with the Sand Rush stuff. I might actually leave Gigalith in the back though. Maybe I could... There isn't too much of a reason not to go Arcanine on the lead next to um, Clefairy, and then we just bring Gigalith Stoutland in the back, and I think that should be fine. Uh, basically, what I want to try to do is avoid getting an Intimidate on my Gigalith on the lead, and then try to win with it in the end game. Hopefully, no Gothitelle on the lead, though. Uh, that'd be really scary, and if it's like G-Max Grimmsnarl plus Gothitelle, that's going to be a huge pain in my butt. Um, but yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we didn't just mess up by not leading off with our, our straight offense option. And as always, if you like the channel, it is sponsored by Clear American, a sparkling water company. It's not, but it'd be really awesome if I get a sponsor one day. One day, I'm going to get a sponsorship, I swear. This is strange. So, like, I've been recording with lo-fi beats instead of the actual in-game music. And because of that, during the actual recording process, I have no music playing since I just want to get the in-game sound. It's just strange, because I'm so used to hearing music, so it's just silence. It's just, just deadpan silence. Alright. So, Grimmsnarl and Arcanine, I actually am pretty happy with that lead. I'm pretty happy with that lead. Because I want to I wanna deal with the Arcanine prior to anything else. Uh, I don't feel like getting Will-O-Wisped or anything. It'd be really annoying if I just got uh, Will-O-Wisp on my, on my boy. So I don't want to have to deal with that. Um, and also a Thunder Wave would be super, super unfortunate. So what I think I'm going to do here... There's no way they're going to Will-O-Wisp immediately. I could try to make a double here, but I'm kind of concerned about a Paralysis uh, right off the bat. Ooh, maybe I just Heat Wave for damage... Maybe I keep the follow me. Here's what I'll do. I'll go hard Gigalith here. And I'll actually just go ahead and follow me here to avoid... I I'm hoping this is going to allow me to avoid um, a Thunder Wave. And if they go for screens, that's fine. But Thunder Wave, I think, is preferred. Uh, basically, I just really, really don't feel like having anything get uh, paralyzed on my side of the field. And keeping Arcanine in the back for future Intimidates is going to be really useful considering the team that we're facing. Uh, looks like they do not Dynamax anything this turn. They go for the Light Screen, which makes sense. Arcanine is more of a special attacker in this format. And it seems they're... Yep, there's the Snarl. I can live with that. They likely have Thunder Wave. Likely have Thunder Wave. And they're likely going to go for the Will-O-Wisp here. So I think what I'll do is I'll just go for the Raw Rock Slide. Um, 
because that should allow me to get some decent damage off on the Arcanine. I don't want to Dynamax just yet because it could be really, really important late game to save the Dynamax. So we'll follow me here. Um, hopefully they just don't have Thunder Wave. I would actually prefer it if they didn't Thunder Wave here and they went for a Reflect. Because what that would do is it would allow me to... Well, they don't. But uh, what that would have done is it would have allowed me to get in... Um, keep Clefairy from getting paralyzed every turn and then because it's already burned I would have been able to redirect thunder waves for free uh, but that's fine that's fine it looks like they're water urshifu which is a little bit concerning since they can crit through everything and my rock slide's going to be doing minimal damage now I think now would be a good time for them to dynamax Clefairy can definitely take a surging strikes I'm assuming I, I, I really don't know to be honest <laughs> Ooh, okay, so here's what I think I want to do. I think I want to try to get Arcanine and Stoutland, or Stoutland and uh, Gigalith in at the same time. So I may need to... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get in Stoutland here, and I'm going to follow me. This might be a throw. <laughs> this may be a throw. But I'm going to follow me here, hopefully redirecting a Surging Strikes. I'm gonna follow me this. Hopefully no Thunder Wave. Surging Strikes, so it looks like they didn't Thunder Wave, they probably Spirit Braked. That's gonna do like nothing. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, in fact. <laughs> Dang, like Kofari actually just really hard walls this thing, doesn't it? That's its strongest move versus it. Spirit Break's gonna be doing a decent chunk, but I think we live that, which means we can take the next Surging Strikes, which is great. Uh, so we're gonna follow me again. And they're getting chipped away at, which is really great. That's really great. Alright. Um, I could just facade for damage. I think I'm just going to facade for damage because I want that thing gone. Hmm. Let me think. Do I want to do this? Should I keep this thing around? Yeah, I think I'll just facade for damage. And follow me. Because that'll allow me to get in my Gigalith for free. As they end up withdrawing, going into Arcanine, presumably. That's fine. This next turn, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to after you and Dynamax. Uh, and I will gladly remove that Arcanine from the field. Because we should be able to take a Surging Strikes while we're Dynamaxed. Here's my facade for damage. Surging strikes. All right. I'm going to send in the, the Gigalith now. And what I'm hoping is going to happen here is they just go for the raw Surging Strikes. If they Dynamax and their G-Max Urshifu, that's going to hurt me a lot, and I will not appreciate that. So we're going to after you here. I'm going to Dynamax up and hopefully just knock out this Arcanine. Uh, I'm not entirely certain if behind Reflect it'll take the hit. And the author of the team did let me know that this Gigalith is carrying like a bit of speed, which allows it to outspeed things that it would normally like speed tie with. Or, I guess it's like enough for base 30s, because it's going to outspeed Amoongus, I know that much. Which is really useful when you want to go for like self-surf stuff. As they withdraw, that's actually great. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. As long as the Arcanine goes down this turn, I'm happy with how this went. I think Stoutland getting after you is probably the coolest buff we've seen this generation. Alright, we're gonna after you this max rockfall. Wait, excuse me? Does does that not work how I thought? <gasps> Wait, did I select the wrong Pokemon? Guys, I think I selected the wrong Pokemon. I might be stupid. 
I may be stupid. I may have selected the wrong Pokemon, or maybe I just don't know how after you works. I think I might have just selected the wrong Pokemon like an idiot, which I did last night on stream, by the way. Just wanted to let you guys know. Not only am I stupid, but I'm dumb. Alright, so my play here is to reset the sand to get in Gigalith, or to get in the boy again. Uh, I will get my weakness policy. How do I do this? Um, I can go for Rockfall onto the Grimmsnarl and switch in my Arcanine. Wow, I'm dumb. I got lucky though. I got I got bailed out right there. I seriously got bailed out. Hello, Dracozult. Alright. Send in the Arcanine. We're going to reset the uh, the sand by rock falling that thing. Hopefully they just Dynamax here. If they Dynamax, I should definitely take the hit. As yes, they do Dynamax, which is really good. That's really good. Because if they go for the Max Quake, um, then my Rock Fall will be doing quite a bit of damage to them. And then I can after you the next one. In fact, I might just outspeed uh, with my Arcanine, depending on if they have Thunder Wave, which they haven't revealed that yet. They haven't revealed the Thunder Wave, which is a bit concerning, but I can live with it. Scary Face? Ooh, okay. Okay, Scary Face. What's Stoutland's base speed? Because I might be able to outspeed anyways. I actually always forget this sort of thing. Is they Worm Wind? A little bit annoying. Pokemon Showdown. Team Builder. What is Stoutland's base speed? My Rockfall goes off. It's 80, so I believe this is Jolly Stoutland, which means we should be able to outspeed. Alright, I definitely want to boost my defense a bit. And we already got our attack dropped here. Um, I think what I'm going to go for is they likely know that I'm that I'm that item. <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll attempt a Will-O-Wisp. And I'll just Steel Spike up on the... Or I could Knuckle up. I think I'd prefer the Steel Spike just to try to remove that thing from the field. to be really useful if I didn't have to worry about Scary Face. But yeah, uh, I'm likely going to lose my Arcanine here. Because they're going to be going for another Wormwind to uh, neutralize my attack. So they're using this Dynamax really, really smart. Uh, basically, they're using it almost defensively. Just to make sure I can't do much. But if I can remove this thing somehow, even though we're at like minus two... Even though we're at minus two, if I can somehow remove this thing from the field, there might be a chance. Ah, no, it doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like we'll be we'll be able to do that this game. I don't know, maybe Stoutland have protect. I might be able to pull something off. I forget if the Stoutland has protect. I believe it doesn't though. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Um, how can I play this out? They're likely just going to leave this uh, Gigalith for dead, like just to have it get destroyed by that Urshifu. So, how can I do this? I'm going to get Scary Faced, and Scary Faced is 100% accuracy. I don't know, maybe they won't. <laughs> maybe they won't, that's really my only out. I'll Surf here. I'll Surf here, and I'll, I'll just go for the... Uh... I mean, actually, there's no point in Surfing, is there? Uh, yeah, I guess there is, because the Surf plus Sand will knock out the Grim Snarl, and then maybe Rock Slide will crit or something. That, that's pretty much my only out. Yep, there's the Scary Face, gonna make me slower than this... Oh no, I'm still faster than the Dragazolt at minus two, because we have Sand Rush. Um, so I am gonna get this off. That plus the Sand and the Rock Slide should do it. It's gonna bring me back up to neutral. There's the Worm Wind, bringing me back down to minus one on the Stoutland. Just barely survives. That's actually great. Because I can still after you my uh, my Gigalith. Unfortunately, though, we're probably going to get knocked out by the... 
<laughs> by the incoming Urshifu. Because let me think, how does this play out? I can't protect versus Urshifu. Surging Strikes is probably going to one-shot my, uh, my boy here. Uh, and I'm also slower than that, so I couldn't after you if I tried. Well, I suppose I can try. Let's just after you. Hope for the best. And uh, body press, since we're at plus one. It's not going to KO, though. It's not. There's the Surging Strikes. Watch us somehow live. Watch us just somehow live. Oh, that went into Stoutland. Interesting. Um, not sure if I agree with that play. There's the Bolt Beak. Oh, no, that's going to KO. Or not. Hello? Did I did I manage to do this? Will body press into sand KO? No, it's not. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Good game. We tried. We tried. We gave it our best. We gave it our best. Yeah, there's the reflect. Uh, so without the reflect, I believe that may have been enough, but uh, it looks like they were light, light clay grim snarl, which is why it lasted so long. So we're gonna forfeit there, unfortunately. Gonna lose our first battle of the of the video. But it's a pretty bulky Stoutland, that's good to know. And we'll continue battling. Ow, my ranking. 1930. Alright. Okay, so we're facing King. You dropped this, King. <laughs> Dude, I feel like the people who say you dropped this, or not, not like you dropped this, but like the people who refer to all other dudes as King are like super sweaty. I just can't get over that idea. All right, uh, this actually might be an Inteleon game. Err, actually, Gigalith isn't looking too bad. It really isn't looking too bad. I have to play it really carefully because uh, Flapple is super scary. Flapple is super scary, uh, especially with uh, G Max or with Max Wormwind being another thing it can go for um, in the Tailwind option. Here's what I want to do. Mm, I kind of wanted to get him to go for the Max Wormwind into uh, a fairy, but I don't think I'll be able to do that. Um, overall, the Gigalith, Arcanine. Fairy lead doesn't look too bad. And in the back, I kind of want to bring the Intellion, I really do, but I just don't see it doing too much work here. Yeah, because we're probably going to get one shot by Flapple. Okay, uh, my last Pokemon's going to be Stoutland. We're going to try that Sand Mode one more time. Melodic Talonflame? Actually, that's a pretty good lead for me. That, that's a pretty good lead for me. They're probably just going to give me my weakness policy immediately. Oh, wait, no. I let off Arcanine. Guys, I let off Arcanine. Guys. <laughs> Guys, I let off Arcanine. Oh, God. Um, What's my out here? I believe my out is to die. Yeah, that. Um, yeah, had I not let off Arcanine, that would have gone a lot better. I'm going to max Rockfall and hope that they just go for the for the Muddy Water. And I'm also going to go ahead and switch in the Stoutland here, because then I'll be able to after you things. Or actually, no, I can probably live if I switch in Clefairy. Yeah, if I Dynamax... If they, I'm hoping what happens here is they just Tailwind and go for a regular um, Water move. But because Sand's up and I have Friend Guard, I should live. Yeah, I Dynamax, so they're probably going to go for a Muddy Water, and as long as they don't miss their Muddy Water, I'm going to be real happy here, because I'm definitely living this, even at plus two. Sand plus Friend Guard is enough to allow me to live that. So unfortunately, we're burning the Dynamax pretty early in this game, which I really didn't want to do. I wanted to go for the Raw Rock Slide. As they Will-O-Wisp. Okay, well, that's probably game. <laughs> they just neutralize us right off the bat. 
And we- oh my god. I have never been so annoyed to have been missed by an attack like that. I have never been so annoyed about getting missed by Muddy Water. That still does a lot. Wow. Okay. So the next one will KO. The next one will KO after sand damage, as long as they're not like Citrus Berry. Uh, I think I'll play it safe. All max rock fall, and I'll just protect here because I don't want to lose my Clefairy too early. It could be useful in the end game, especially since they haven't taunted yet. Alright, we'll protect here. Hopefully, the muddy water doesn't miss us this time. As they taunt. Muddy water. Please hit the Gigalith, man. Okay. See, that does like nothing. And the weakness policy will likely allow us to knock out this Milotic now. Hopefully. I'm hoping for that. Because next turn I can just follow me and go for another Max Rockfall. Yep, there it is. Milotic off the field. Very scary Pokemon. Gone. And I think this next turn... Um, it looks like they're goggles in the town flame too, considering it has been taking sand damage. I think this next turn they were gonna bring in the flapple. If they didn't bring the flapple, I think that's a huge throw by them. So yeah. There's the flapple. Uh what I can do here is I think I just removed the town flame. Or I can just helping hand this rock fall. Mm. That's the thing, they could max guard. I'll max rockfall. And follow me. They haven't gone for tailwind yet, I believe. Yeah, they haven't tailwinded yet, and they should be going for taunt here, so I'm gonna follow me here and max rockfall the town flame. Uh, and then I can get in my Arcanine to intimidate and go for Will O Wisp next turn. If they max guard, that's probably the best possible outcome for me. Oh, is the regular Flapple? That's interesting. Um, G Max Flapple, I think, is better than regular Flapple when it comes to Dynamaxing, because it actually allows you to land your Grav Apples more, more, um, what's it called? <laughs> more frequently, uh, since you're lowering their evasion. On top of that, since they have Milotic, I figured they'd be running Hypnosis and stuff. So there's the Brave Bird. Hopefully that doesn't KO us. No, yeah, because Town Flame hits like nothing. It it does it does nothing. It hits it doesn't do any damage. All right, and the Max Overgrowth will get redirected into Clefairy, which means that we're going to knock out this Town Flame here with our plus two hit. And next turn, I can attempt to Will O Wisp this thing on top of going for uh, Intimidate on it. All right, there's my Rockfall. Gonna kill the town flame. And uh I believe that's our last turn of Dynamax. Yeah. So we're gonna undynamax here, but I'm still a huge threat to his team, depending on what's in the back. Uh Arcanine has to come out here, I believe. <laughs> like every time. Stoutland is still really good because we have the sash. There's Clefable. Ooh, okay, that could be an issue. That could be an issue. I think what I'll do here is I'll actually just go hard into Stoutland to recycle my Intimidate. And I can also go for a, um... Yeah, here's here's what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to protect my, my Gigalith here to stall it another turn. Because they're just going to follow me. So I'm going to protect the Gigalith here. I'm going to get in the Stoutland. And logic would dictate that they would follow me away my uh, my Will O Wisp here. Or any attack, really. Yeah, I think I'm fine. As long as I don't, um, <laughs> as long as they don't target into the Arcanine here, I should be alright. Or actually, even if they do, I'm fine, because I still just get to go for, um, like an after you heavy slam. Gigalith's got a really, really good defense stat, so even though this is hustle boosted, it's at minus one and I'm going to be protecting. Even with the grassy terrain, it should be perfectly fine. 
Yeah, there's the follow me. So we can actually heavy slam this thing next turn, and it's going to be doing a solid chunk of damage. As long as sand doesn't run out, which it might run out. <laughs> there's the Wormwind. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that, because I still have my uh, my Focus Sash here. And I get a second Intimidate off next turn if I want. Flapple's going to take some sand damage. Everyone's going to recover a little bit. Um, I believe I have one turn left of sand. I kind of have to hope for that. If there isn't one turn left of sand, I might be in trouble. <laughs> Might be in a little bit of trouble. Alright. Yeah, we still got one turn left to sand. So what I'll do here is I'll just heavy slam into the Clefable and after you that, because I'm likely just going to lose my Stoutland. Um, this is still going to be doing a solid chunk of damage. And since it's his last turn of Dynamax, I can just start going for like... Like, I, I should be fine. I can just go for, like, heat waves and stuff to beat Flapple. Since it's going to be at minus two. Alright, there's the after you. Hopefully Heavy Slam does a solid chunk. Yeah, that's respectable. Okay, they're Barry. <laughs> they are Barry. That's a little bit annoying. Maybe I should have just rock slided for damage on the uh, Flapple. There's the Airstream. Ooh, that's a little bit annoying because now they're going to be faster than my Arcanine. But my Gigalith did survive the turn, and I'm going to get another minus one on them. I'm not even going to bother going for the uh, for the Will-O-Wisp this next turn, because, I mean, there's really no point in Will-O-Wisping. We're going to live that pretty easily, uh, since they're just going to follow me. What I'll do here is I'll just go for the Heat Wave, since it'll be doing a solid chunk of damage to Flapple. It's got really, really bad special defense, and since it's at minus two, it's not going to be doing too much damage. On top of that, since I believe it's probably Hustle, it's, it's going to be... You know, it has a chance to miss all of its moves. Alright, let's get into the Arcanine here. There's the Intimidate. Not really a point in going for the uh, for the Will-O-Wisp since it's not since it's just gonna get follow me. We'll just heat wave up. And I'll even try to uh I mean, hmm, what's my safest way of doing this? I think I just rock slide. I'll just rock slide and go for the heat wave. Not too concerned about Clefable. I mean, it could stall me out depending on what item it, or depending on what its moveset is, um, but I think I'll be all right. There's the grab apple. They actually land it. It's likely going into the, yep, into Gilith. That's going to knock it out for sure. Gonna take some life orb, heat wave, we connect with it. It's doing about half. Nice. And they're running Psychic Clefable? Hello, sir? Hello? What? What dimension are you from? That's so strange. Okay. Alright, uh, so it is at minus two. We should take whatever hit we need from it. And we do have a berry on this Arcanine, so I think we're fine. We'll just heat wave again. Psychic Clefable, hello sir. Hello. I don't know what dimension you're from. Grab Apple, that's not gonna be doing too much. They should have outraged, because oh wait, that will drop our defense. Ooh, okay, that's a smart play. That might be a smart play, but I think as long as we land this, we're fine. Yep, that should knock it out. And what I'll do here is I'll just start clicking like Heat Wave and Snarl. Or not Heat Wave. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage, actually. No special defense drop, though, so I think we're fine just to keep clicking Heat Wave. I have to land both of these, though. Alright, Grass disappeared from the battlefield, so I think two Heat Waves will do it. I haven't really been paying attention to how much damage my Heat Wave's been doing. Um, but I don't think Snarl's really my play. So we'll Heat Wave here. land it. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're fine. As long as I don't miss. No crit. Alright, cool. Oh, they actually did crit. Wow, okay. Um, I'm gonna check the accuracy. It's 
It's 90%. We have a 90% chance to win. That's never bit me in the butt before. Shout out to WBE. Shout out to WBE. Okay, cool. We won. <laughs> oh, man. I missed two frenzy plants in a row to lose one of the weeks of WBE. It was so sad. It made me so sad, dude. All right. But uh, we're going to go and get one more battle for today. All right. Actually, yeah, I am pretty curious about what item they were running. Or uh, what they were running on that Clefable. Okay, interesting. I'm not sure what the Psychic is really for. Like, what are they trying to cover for? I think they would have been better to run, like, Helping Hand or Icy Wind. Oh, well. It's their team, not mine, you know? Okay. Alright, someone with a uh, pretty decent rating. And it looks like they're going to be running... Actually, a pretty scary team. Um... Urshifu, Talonflame, Zarina, Jellicent, Rhyperior, Gengar. I'm actually a little bit concerned about this team. This team looks scary, uh, especially if they get the Trick Room off, which looks like they have no redirection, and their only Trick Room setter is going to be that um, that Jellicent. This might be a decent game for Inteleon plus um, Clefairy, though, because like, what, what do they really have for that? Inteleon's got Dark Pulse, I believe. Let me double check. Let me double check here. Yeah, so it's going to be doing some pretty massive damage uh, with Max Darkness against the Jellicent. Uh, in the back here, I feel pretty comfortable bringing Zarina. I think my last Pokemon is going to have to be that Arcanine just to play things safe. I don't really see Gigalith being too useful. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. So, we actually do get to use the uh, G-Max Inteleon finally. Oh wow, this man's about to punch me. <laughs> Alright. So I end up leading off with... Ooh, it's Water Urshifu. That's actually ideal for me. I can focus energy pretty safely here. If they're not running Taunt, that's epic. It's pretty epic if they're not running Taunt. I want to make a read and just protect here, but I, I know it's not worth it. Because if they go if they go for close combat into my into my Intellion, I'm in trouble. So we'll just protect. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm making the read. I meant to follow me. Hopefully they just hopefully they just surging strikes and taunt because they know they're going to get redirected. But if they close combated, oh my god, I'm in trouble and I just threw the game. I misclicked so hard. I meant to follow me. Hopefully my misclick will end up being a, an epic read. Hopefully it's an epic read. There's the tailwind. They did not taunt. I may have been nanate on. Oh, they're surging strikes. Okay, so I avoid... <laughs> I avoid the, the the taunt. Not really, though. I, I didn't actually avoid the taunt. But I can follow me this next turn, which is phenomenal. Focus energy up. And I think it's in my best air, uh, interest to airstream here. I'm gonna go ahead and max airstream that in... Or that, um, Urshifu. And I'll actually get in the... I want to get in the Zarina. And the reason I'm doing this is because they should just try to Surging Strikes again. And Taunt. And since I'm Assault Vest Zarina, it wouldn't really matter. Watch them not even have Taunt. I'd be so upset with myself. Alright, my man here, locked and loaded, ready to destroy this Urshifu. Hopefully it's not Focus Sash, even though it probably isn't. Hey, <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you, game. And there's the Surging Strike, so we just nanade the man. By the way, guys, there's... I have a new emote. I'm gonna put it on screen right now. I have a new emote for my Twitch channel called Nanane. You should follow me on Twitch. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna airstream here. Uh, which may allow us to outspeed our Shifu. Let me double check the speed tiers, because it's gonna be sad. Oh, it's not Sash. <laughs> it's not Sash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, um, we're about to sweep this man with Hydra Snipe, I think. It's not even Sash.
Okay, there's the Gengar. Um, I mean, I have to airstream it. It'll KO anyways. What I want to do here is uh, airstream and... He's going to be going for a poison move. I kind of want to get in the Arcanine here. kind of want to get in the Arcanine. Because he should just go for the poison move to allow his Talonflame to start moving. And also Arcanine will be able to Snarl, which would be really useful. I don't want to touch that Talonflame because it just gets hard shut down by... Um, <laughs> it just gets hard shut down by Zarina. Although it may break its own Gale Wings here by going for Flare Blitz, which would make sense. Yep, there it is. It's going to break its own Gale Wings, which means Zarina is no longer a hard check to it. Uh, but, we're going to get a speed boost here. We're going to get a speed boost. As the Icy Wind. Okay, they've neutralized my speed boost, which is a little bit disappointing. Not going to lie. A bit disappointing. They're probably Sash Gengar, too. Yeah, there's the Sash on the Gengar. What I'll actually do here... Um, I'll just Snarl to attempt to KO. I'll Snarl to attempt to KO that Gengar, and I'll just go ahead and go for another Airstream into the, um, into the Talonflame. Or I could Hydro Snipe. I think the Airstream is better. It just allows me to keep up the pace here, because we do have plus one. Yeah, we'll Snarl here. And crit airstream is definitely going to KO. There's the protect. That's fine, I think. There's the icy wind. We're still going to get our speed boost, which allows us to be faster than that Talonflame this next turn, since their tailwind's going to run out. And as long as we land at our snarl, I'm happy with this. Because I got some pretty powerful moves for this team, man. Like... Sniper and Talion does way too much damage. There's the Snarl, protecting the Town Flame. Please hit the Gengar. Epic, dude. Epic. Alright, um, I don't really think they can win anymore. It, it's it's pretty unlikely they're gonna be able to win. If there's a Rhyperior in the back, it's gonna drop. Like that's just a that's just a fact of life. Oh, it's Jellicent. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Um, we just beat Jellicent with Assault Vest Arena, which is great. So what I'll do here is I'll just snipe shot into the Town Flame and go for another Snarl, lowering that thing's special attack. We're gonna be faster than the Town Flame. Bada bing, bada boom, and he's gone. <laughs> Phenomenal. Uh, they're not even gonna Dynamax. They're probably just gonna set up Trick Room here. But as long as I land my Snarl, I'm, I'm in a pretty good spot. They might even just go for Water Spot, which would be an interesting play. Yep, there's the water spot. That's not going to knock me out. Uh, which means Inteleon gets to pick up every single KO of this battle. Oh, wait, no, because of the Gengar. Nearly every single KO of this battle, because I'm just going to helping hand this Dark Pulse. I'm just going to helping hand the Dark Pulse now and see how much it does to uh, Dynamax Jellicent, since it doesn't really matter. They should 100% Dynamax here. Alright, Dark Pulse. Helping hand. Please, Dynamax. I want to see how much this does. Yes, but they didn't Dynamax. That's a little bit annoying. This is just going to KO. There's no way it lives. You're going to the Shadow Realm, Jellicent. Okay, cool. So, G-Max Inteleon pulling its weight. I, I really like this team. I think this is a really fun team. I used it on stream last night and just absolutely loved every battle I had with it. Uh, if you guys want to watch me battle live you can go ahead follow me on twitch link in the description uh if you guys want to continue to support the channel there's going to be a video on screen go ahead and watch that um and yeah like there's go ahead and click the video that i'm recommending in a second here uh but yeah leave a like in the video comment what you think is your favorite series of egc 2020 join the discord do all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye